Yes, MCMC, I was not expecting you to release your teams two weeks early instead of one. So I'm really glad I checked 10 days before the event, so I had time to make this video, but all those views gone. No. No matter. Welcome guys to another analysis video of MCC. It's been a long time since I've made one of these, but my analytical side overcame the cringe I feel when thinking of popular MCYT fandoms. So I will be giving you my power rankings of all 10 teams in the second MCC of the second season. And I want you guys to remember this is about 95% based on player point averages. The stats on that with small boosts given for reasons I will mention throughout the team rankings. But of course, my rankings won't be 100% correct because of coin multipliers and player decisions and major variables that completely change the complexion of every MCC. So expect pretty much every prediction I will make to be wrong, but some of them will very likely be close or even 100% correct. Anyhow, let's begin at number 10 and last place. We have here the Blue Bats with 4,035 points, and this team is almost a definitive choice for last place as these four continue to be teamed together, and as we know, I've never really played for a win, and we probably won't see any different this time around. Moving on to 9th place, we have the Green Guardians. I was supposed to see a Sap not team this slow, so don't expect a 9th place finish from this team actually, but I doubt we will see a top 5 appearance. Their point average was 7,540 points with the adjusted total coming up here for Sapnap's effect on teams and this being RT Games' second MCC, this pushes their adjusted total to 7,700 points as their final total. The top 8 I feel all have a chance to win MCC if they all pop off, as all of their original averages are all within 1,100 points of each other, making this a very even MCC. Now that I brought that up, the 8th place team with an original adjusted total of 8,358 points are the Purple Pandas, and I was partially surprised to see them here with Fruit Berries, Green, and S Major on the team, but as I said, it's very close between teams in the top 8. And I'm not really willing to give this team a boost with Fruit Berries because I haven't seen him give that his team that much of a boost yet, because they have really the effect of players like Pizza Hut have in their teams. So maybe this will change, maybe that will change this MCC, but we will find out soon enough. 7th place with the original total of 8,354 are the Pink Parrots, and if we go by superstition here, it may be a safe call to say that Dream will win knowing his past history with Pink teams, with exception to the Christmas one because that was kind of a fluke with the Captain Curse thing I will be mentioning later. I swear, Dream Stands, do not try to destroy me again for making clickbait. <laughs> uh, boy. And... Anyhow, I also did give this team a boost because this is Bad Boy Halo's second MCC, so I'll give him an average point boost, putting this team's total to 8,500 points. Moving on to the Lime Llamas, next on these rankings, they are 6th place, and once again, Quig is in for a complete carry of the team, so they somehow got all the way to 6th place, with him seeming to be the, real, the only real superstar on this team that I look at it. I don't expect a win from this team at all, but I did give their original total 8,682, and I didn't give them any boosts because I don't see any players that can really boost this team's total or have a better performance than last time, definitively. But now as we enter the top half of teams, we have the Aqua Axolotls, and this one I originally gave 8,822 points, but because of Ant Frost and 5-Up have only had one MCC each. I think they will perform better this second MCC because I believe it's fair to put the total up uh, since they know what to expect now. So I put their total up to 9,000 for the team. The top four I believe are all championship contenders and their final totals were all 200 or less points apart and their pre-adjusted totals were also within 300 points. At the bottom of the four teams though is the Red Rapids with a total of 9,222 adjusted to 9,400 because I expect a Rambu to improve this being a second MCC and I think this team will be the most entertaining to watch. But I also don't think these really will be contenders for the championship unless they want it badly enough because knowing a Tommy in a team and these guys all being together, the Sleepy Boys Incorporated plus Rambu, they may end up focusing on entertainment over a win, so in my opinion, that's a major variable with any Sleepy Boys Inc. team like this. Now on to the third place team, and that will be the Yellow Yaks, and I swear this is not a coincidence that I put Captain Sparkles on a third place team, knowing that the man can't seem to place higher in third place, and he's known for it. But their original total being 9,396 adjusted to 9,450, because of H-Bomb's average being hurt thanks to last MCC and being a complete outlier in his stats, 
I'll I'll give him a little I'll give him a pass here. Paul Cox being a first timer, looking at some of his highlights, I thought 2000 would be a safe total for him. But I think it's time to say if you're listening right now, comment burger, B U R G E R, down below because it helps me gauge viewer watch retention. And I also respond to 95% of my comments and I read them all. Anyhow, time for the top two teams. I will review the rankings in a second. So, starting with the Orange Ocelots, we have Tapel, who is a very good 1.9 competitor and has always played well in these events. His team at Punge has already been to so many dodge bolts in such a short period of time here in MCC, so I've decided to give him his own version of the Pizza Hut effect, and if he keeps up the effect he gives to his teams, I will keep giving him this effect for future MCCs. They also have Captain Puffy and Shovel YT, who are proven role players. No, not like Dream SP role playing, I mean like playing the role of the team that they fall in correctly. Like these people are a supporting cast. They would become they would be known as supporting cast players. They are supporting cast to the stars of Puns and Tapel, and that is their role. I do think Puns will also do a good job of taking leadership role on this team as well. The other top two teams are the Cyan Creepers, having Pizza Hut himself. I'm of course giving this team the P effect boost. Preston is also playing in this tourney, and personally, I think he might be one of the best players in this tournament, being a very competitive player. And since this will be this will be a second, and since it'll be a second tournament, I will give him the boost. Now here are the point totals for each team in no particular order. The Orange Ocelots had an original total of 9,436 points that I adjusted to 9,600. While the Cyan Creepers started out with a much lower 9,154 point total, but they got an even bigger adjustment putting them at the final total of 9,500 points, putting the Orange Ocelots at first place overall and the predicted winners of this month's MCC. The team I actually want to see though, of course, is the Cyan Creepers because I really like Pete and Preston together. I think this would be a very high octane team possibly. And not only are they very good players, they also are very good friends. I can't wait to see these two finally together again as a former huge Preston fan in the past, back when Preston was more competitive with Minecraft. And I will be watching this team in the second half of the tournament likely when things start to boil down. The entertainment team I believe though will be Red because Sleepy Boys plus Rambo being together. But that will be a topic for another day. Anyhow, that will be the end of the video. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And if you like this video, leave a like. And if you hated it, leave a dislike. Anyhow, I will see you all in the next video. Bye.